Edge to his right. Chips a pass left side over to Bork. Barely kept it in. Now in the slot, turning and shooting in his hands, and he scores. Christian Hansen from the slot. Bork found him just past the hash marks as the Bears get a power play goal for Hansen. His fourth of the year, and Hershey takes a 1-0 lead. Here's McNeely back to the right side. Far point for Ty Wisher. Drags a wrist shot. That's blocked by Kane, and now he races up the middle with a breakaway. Here's Kane to the hash marks. Shoots and scores. Great Kane beating Crowley over his club. And an unassisted goal for Kane gives Hershey a 2 0 lead. Around, and now Sezikis finds Ness at the right point. He shoots deflected and tipped wide in front. Off of House. Now in the slot, a blast by Riley on the one-timer, and that one stopped by Danny Sabrin. 2.05 gone by in the second. As Sezikis throws it in front. The trailer cutting in with a blast blocked by Kondratik. Now Kondratik comes away with it, shoveled off the glass of the right point, poked down by Oleksi in front of Mulrad, who shoots. Oh, and he gripped the stick a little too tight that time. It came in high. Frischman dumped in over the Bears line, hops around Danny Richmond, finds McNeely behind the net, looks for a trailer. Oh, and a hit off the stick of Sabrin and nearly bounded in behind. He had to make a tough save. Getting it on the goal is what they need. As Wisher with a blast. That one deflected wide. Now a wraparound try. Sezikis in front, poked wide. The follow shot in high by Howes. Back left point. DeHaan fires a point blast, and that's tipped wide. Now in front, Sezikis is shot on the one-timer, and Sabrin makes the stop. Bridgeport line played there by Ness. Karam's back in front. Backhand pass by Cunningham, left side. Haley with it. Centers, finds Sezikis with a breakaway. Backhand try. Save by Sabrin. In the East Division, here's Wisher, right point blast. That one trickles wide, regained by Howes in beyond. We'll talk more about that. Here is Howes with the left circle in front to Frischman. Off the skate as he tried to corral it for his shot. And the pinching right point is Ness. Rook Zegger comes over. Here's Rook Zegger, sharp angle shot to Flex. Now in the slot, Galant shooting. Blocker saves Sabrin. As it kicks in front, quick shot by a coin and a save. After it was sitting in behind the net for about three, four seconds. Face off near circle, controlled by Frischman. Turned it over to McFlicker in front of shot for 40 scores. The Bears lead three to nothing as Frischman off the draw put it right on McFlicker's stick in behind the Bears net. He wrapped it around and then found that 40. Out shooting Hershey 21 to 14. Now a turnover. Here's Sezikis looking for Riley in the slot. Misplayed by the goaltender Riley. Thrown toward the goal in a sliding play and a block made by Kondratik. Down to the ice by Mulrat. Left point to Han shooting off the end boards. Meanwhile, Collins going after Mulrat away from the puck. Shot on goal and now we got a fight. Haley drops the gloves and he starts pounding away on Sean Collins. He dicks Collins to the ice. A decisive victory for Michael Haley. He just decked Collins. Meanwhile, Rakshani takes a swipe at Boyd Kane. Back to DeHaan at the blue line. And a wisher one-time blast and a glove save made by Sabrin. The freshman looking to set the screen in front. Meanwhile, Rakshani having some words with Christian Hansen. Here's Wisher, center point to Han. Winds in also Rakshani. One-time blast. Leg save made by Sabrin. Forward along the near wing boards is tied up by Trevor Frischman, who gets it back in the circle to the point for Wisher to blast it. Another save made, and meanwhile, Howes dumped down following the save by Danny Sabrin. He slips trying to get up and gets a Bronx cheer from the Hershey faithful here. Looked like Brouillet with a little bit of a swipe on Howes. Donovan. Donovan backhands a pass down. Mulrat in the corner. Says he gets in front. Marcinko is shot denied. A coin off the skate. Holding it for about two seconds, about the longest he holds it usually. The McFlicker in the slot shot, they score. Petumi loops it home, top shelf, with 13 left in the Marcinko penalty. And for the Bears, their second power play goal, pretty much from the same spot where Hansen scored back in the first on Kevin Poole and Sheet at the end of the night, but he's not playing poorly at all. And now we're going to have a go right off the face off, Reckless and Gallant, and that'll get the fans on their feet here at Giant Center. These guys have had some epic brawls during the last couple of seasons. They engage. Galan connected with a big right. Galan has Recklich right by the South Tiger bench trying to come in. Galan in a headlock from Recklich right now. Connects with a left. Galan connects with a big right. Trading bombs. Galan tied up. Trying to switch to his left. Recker the southpaw comes in. Connects on a left to Galan. A glancing blow now connects strongly. Galan comes back with a right of his own. These guys throwing bombs. Trading rights and lefts. Recklich with the lefts. Gallant with the right. Gallant trying to switch it. A big left connecting on Recklich with a set paw shot by Brett Gallant. They continue to throw shots. 
Reklich connected with a very strong left. Gallant comes back with a right. Gallant has Reklich caught a little bit off balance. Recker comes back with a left of his own. Another epic tilt here at Giant Center between Gallant and Reklich. As Gallant has Reklich pulled off and the fans are on their feet here at Giant Center. A heavyweight bout between Joel Reklich and Brent Gallant. The puck dumped into the Bridgeport zone following the faceoff. Here's Kane. Back to the corner for DJ King in front for Kane, a shot save mid. Kane trying to stuff the rebound in and hit the side of the goal. Kevin Poulin, Kane back with it, looking for King. He's dumped down, now we have a penalty coming up. And now we got some pushing and shoving and possibly a tilt between Alexi and Carroll. But they quickly step in, there's a slashing penalty coming up. By the way, McFlicker. And a coin. Credited with the assist on the Petulni goal. To the left side, Petulni there in the slot. McFlicker shoots, they made by Poulin, making a nice stop at the top of the crease. A coin, back to McNeil, to Bork, a touch pass, center point, McNeil fires a pass, they score! Patrick McNeil comes straight on in front of the blue line, beating Poulin on his glove side. Hershey now with three power play goals in this game. And regained by the Sound Tigers. Romano skates in, moves it to the slot. Good toe drag, right circle, he shoots off the... Stick side of Danny Sabrin and it trickles wide. On the far wing board sweeps the puck in. Rook Seger tries to get the jump and he hammers Fleming battling for the puck. Rook Seger, but on the second effort, Pope knocks it out the center and then Gallant hit him with a clean shot. And now he's talking with Pope and there'll be penalties coming up here. Pope takes a couple of jabs from Brett Gallant. And they want to go. Pope wants to go with Gallant, but the linesmen are going to step in quickly and separate Matt Pope and Brett Gallant with 3.14 remaining. Oh, another punch thrown as Gallant connects. Finally, the linesman settling things between Gallant. He is just barking at Pope. Dumps it down the far boards in the corner. Big hit, Carroll knocked there, but eight seconds to go. And the Bears fans are on their feet at Giant Center. Down to three seconds to play. And now we have a fight. Here in the final moments, the horn sounds, the game is over, but the game is not over. As Riley drops the gloves with Carroll, and Carroll getting set at the final horn here at Giant Center. Blair Riley knocks out Carroll. Oh, he just punished him. Three or four good rights that Carroll takes and then goes down. So while the Sound Tigers lost this one five to nothing, Blair Riley with a fisticuffs exclamation point. So at least say they were here tonight. The Bears do win it. Five to nothing.